hello guys today we will start factorization so it's a factorization revision class basically we will first do the same thing first we will build a concept i will summer i will summarize all the concepts that you need in factorization to do problem solving and then we will dive deep into do some problems okay having said that let's start to build the concepts okay so concepts so what are the concepts that you need in factorization so number one that you need to know is what is a polynomial expression what do you mean by a polynomial expression so by a polynomial expression you mean let's say a not x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power n minus 2 plus dot 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 plus a n minus 1 x plus a n so this is a polynomial expression where a not a1 a a2 a3 all the way till a n are real numbers and n is a non negative integer okay a not a1 all the way till a n are real numbers and you are also n which is this degree is a non negative integer okay so this is a polynomial expression this is generally expressed as fx or some people express it as gx or hx something like that so this is expressed like like this fx gx or hx okay and this is the highest degree what is the highest degree of this expression the highest degree is n here right so this is also degree of polynomial n So this is a degree of polynomial n right so this expression which is fx so let us let me give some example on polynomial expression just to build the concept more let me give the examples here we have some space here so let's say you have this polynomial expression 2x plus 3 so this is a polynomial expression of degree what is the degree here 1 right this degree is 1 so this is a polynomial expression of degree 1 so polynomial of degree 1 this is also called as linear polynomial okay linear polynomial so let's say you have another polynomial expression as 5x square plus 3 so this is a polynomial of degree what is the highest degree that of x we have 2 so this is polynomial of degree 2 and this is called as a quadratic polynomial okay quadratic polynomial so generally for let's say we have another expression which is has the highest highest order is uh, the power of high x the is let's say the highest power of x is 3 then that is a polynomial of degree 3 let's say if it is 4 that will be polynomial of degree 4 right it depends on the highest power of x let's say you have another equation 7 x to the power 4 plus 3 x s cube plus 2 plus 2 that's it so highest power here of x here is 4 so this will be polynomial of degree 4 okay so hope this is clear to you guys now we will move to the next concept now we will learn how to do polynomial division how to do polynomial division let's say you want to divide 2x cube 
माइनस सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस नाइन दिस एक्सप्रेशन यू वांट टू डिवाइड बाय टू एक्स माइनस थ्री ओके सो यू वांट टू डिवाइड दिस एक्सप्रेशन बाय टू एक्स माइनस थ्री सो हाउ विल यू डू इट सो टू एक्स माइनस थ्री इज द डिवाइसर राइट व्हाट इज द डिविडेंड टू एक्स स्क्यूब माइनस सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स माइनस नाइन ओके and here we will write the the quotient and we will get the remainder somewhere here. Okay, so how will you do this division? See, this is 2x and this is 2x cube. So we need to multiply 2x with a term so that to, so that we get 2x cube. So what when multiplied by 2x will give 2x cube? X square, right? When x square is multiplied by 2x, we get 2x cube. Right. Hope this is clear to you. So now we have to perform the entire multiplication with 2x square and 2x minus 1. We have to multiply this entire multiplication right now. So let's say 2x times x square is 2x cube minus 3 times x square is minus 3x square. And then like normal division, we have to do the subtraction. If it is minus, then it's plus. If it is plus, then it's minus. Okay, like normal subtraction. How you subtract? <clears throat> so this 2x cube, 2x cube, it gets cancelled, and this will be minus. Sorry, this will be minus 4x square, right? And then you get this plus 4x. I hope uh, plus 5x. Sorry, I hope this is clear to you, right? We get minus 4x square. Now this plus 5x comes down to here. Now we have the term expression minus 4x square plus 5x. Similarly, we have to see what when multiplied by 2x gets us minus 4x square. It should be minus 2x. So 2x when multiplied with minus 2x, we get minus 4x square. So Again, we have to multiply minus 2x with the entire divisor, so minus 4x square, and here we get as 6x. Similar, we have to do the subtraction. So this two gets cancelled, we get a minus x here, and now this minus 9 comes down to here. Okay. So again, similar thing. What when multiplied by 2x gives us minus x? It should be minus half. Right, 2x when multiplied by minus half, we get as minus x. Right, so here we will get minus x, and then minus three times minus half will give us plus three by two. So similar thing, this will be plus, this will be minus. This both will get cancelled, and here nine minus basically minus nine minus three by two, that is minus twenty one by two. So this is the remainder. and this is the quotient so this is how we divide a uh, an expression by another expression right so this is how we divide polynomial division this is how we perform polynomial division okay so just one second <clears throat> so okay so now we will move to the next topic the third topic is factor of a polynomial okay so let's say you have an expression fx let's say it is ax square plus bx plus c let's say you have this quadratic equation A quadratic expression a x square plus b x plus c. Okay, and alpha and beta. Okay, let's say not. Uh, let's let me tell you like this. It will be clear. Let's say x minus alpha and x minus beta are two factors of this expression f x. Okay, so then you can write this as x minus alpha. 
times x minus beta. But since the coefficient of x square is a here, you have to write, you see, a here. So basically, basically you can, this is the way you can factorize it. I just wrote the coefficient because the coefficient I kept it as a here. Let me give some other example, like real examples with some real numbers. Let's say you have 2x square plus 7x plus 6. Let's say minus 2. Let's say these two are the factors of. If we factorize it, you will get x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. So this is the way you can factorize it. Okay. This was the generalized form. So I just don't want to give the generalized right now. So just still I gave it. So this is how you generally gen, you generally write it. But when you factorize any any expression, this is how you do it, right? 2x square plus 7x plus c. This will come as x plus 2 times 2x plus 3. Hope you guys know how to factorize. Still, let me just show you once. I already covered this in the quadratic equation, okay? So, in case you have any doubt, see that also, how to factorize. But still, let me say it here one more time. So let's say you want to factorize this expression 2x square plus 7x plus 6. So for what will you do? First, whatever is here, 2x square, just write it as it is. Then there is an operator plus operator, write it as it is. Okay, what the plus operator? If it is minus, write minus, whatever it is. Instead of 7, just put a bracket like this. And after that, copy the same, all the expression, like it's x, copy x. Then the plus operator, copy plus 6, copy 6. Okay. Now, what operator you need to write here? It will depend on the operator in front of x square, which is a plus sign here, and the operator in front of this constant term, which is a plus, plus sign here. So, the multiplication of this plus and this plus, what is it is? What is the multiplication of plus and plus? It is plus. So, multiplication rule will follow here. So, in in this part, if it is, let's say this is minus, this is plus then you will follow minus times plus is minus. Then instead of plus, you will write minus. Okay. So the multiplication rule will follow. And what are the two terms that you need to write here? So what we need to do is right now, this is 7, right? So we need to somehow form this thing, whatever is inside the bracket as, as 7, right? So it's like x plus y, it has to come to 7. But there is a catch here. So this is constant term is 6. The coefficient of x square is 2. So first you have to multiply 6 and 2. So 6 and 2 when multiplied you get 12. Right? Now you have to express 12 such that let's say 12 is expressed equal x times y equals 12. Okay? So you have to express 12 into two factors like x and y such that x plus y gives 7. Like x plus y should give you 7. So let's say 12 you have, right? Let's say you are doing this thing. You are finding the factors. 2, 6, 2, 3 and 3, 1. Okay. So you see 3 times 2 is 6 and this is 2, right? So 6 times 2. So 12 you can write it as 6 times 2, right? Right, uh, actually, I'm sorry here. Ah, that's a bad mistake. So, okay. So, this is, you see, this is 12. You can, you can, this uh, factors are fine. 12, you can write as 2, 2, and 3. Okay. But instead of doing 3 times 2, you can do 2 times 2, right? 2 times 2 is 4, and this is 3. So instead of doing 6 times 2 equals 2, 12, you can also write 4 times 3 equals 12, right? The reason why we are writing 4 times 3, because you see, as I said, x plus y should also give us 7, right? Here, if you write 4 plus 3, this will give us 7. But if I write, instead of 4 plus 3, if I write 6 plus 2, this will give us 8. I said, whatever these two terms are, this, this should be, when these these are added or subtracted you should get back this term plus 7x okay so i hope this is clear to you if not let me do one more example <coughs> let's say you have x cube minus 5x square plus 7x 
minus 3. Since this is like a third power, like the degree of this expression is 3, so you have to actually do it in a different way. You, can, you are not factorizing it right now. So what the way you have to do it is you have to, uh, let me discuss that later because it is it comes from factor theorem. I will discuss it today only, but let me not just dive into it right now. So let's say the factor of this is x minus 3 is one factor and the other factor is x square minus 2x plus 1. So you see similarly what you can do like this this part which is x square minus 2x plus 1 we all know right this is x minus 1 whole square but still if you want to factorize it and see how how it is coming the same thing you can do right x square you can just write x square there is a minus you put the minus instead of 2 put the bracket x you put a x here plus 1 you put plus 1 here so this operator is plus this operator is plus so this operator should be plus and this is 1 times 1 this 2 should be multiplied right so you get as 1 okay so 1 times 1 is 1 so basically 1 plus 1 will you will get as 2 so you have to put 1 here 1 here so you will get x square minus x minus x plus 1 from here x if taken in common this 2 terms x square and minus x if x is taken common you get x minus 1 similarly from here if you take common minus 1 you get x minus 1 so from here you get x minus 1 squared okay so just wanted to show you this part if it's a like how to factorize a quadratic expression okay since it's cubic we will deal with it how we are getting x minus 3 so we are we have to use factor theorem to get this factor also okay so we will deal with it today only not right now but yeah very soon so let me just see so we have discussed today polynomial expression polynomial division and factor of a polynomial okay now let's disc let's see we have discussed what is a polynomial let's say we have this polynomial fx equals a naught x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 a n minus 1 x plus a n we have this polynomial expression let's say now what will be the value of this polynomial expression at x equals alpha suppose somebody asks you what will be the value of this polynomial expression at x equals some number alpha then what you need to do you need to substitute instead of x you need to put alpha there so wherever you see x you will put alpha there alpha raised to n plus a1 alpha to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 a n minus 1 times alpha plus a n so wherever you are we have x you put alpha there okay <coughs> a very quick example of this concept let's say you have fx equals 3x square minus 5x plus 2 and you need to find f of minus 3 so what will you do instead of x wherever we have x you need to insert minus 3 at that place so you have 3 here instead of x you need to put minus 3 square minus 5 instead of x you need to put minus 3 plus 2 so what do we get here 3 times minus 3 square is 9 27 plus 15 plus 2 okay so i'm sure you can do this addition so this is what you mean by like where what is what will be the value of this expression at x equals some number alpha okay so number five root of a polynomial equation what do you mean by this root of a polynomial equation so this will be so up till now we were only discussing only discussing about this expression polynomial expression fx but this is a polynomial expression right f of x equals a naught x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 a n minus 1 x plus a n right this is a polynomial expression 
So let me write it. This is a polynomial expression. But this becomes an equation when we say fx is equals to 0. So then this becomes a polynomial equation. Okay. So this will be a polynomial equation when fx equals 0. Now what will be the solution of this equation? That means what are the values of x for which fx equals to 0? That is, that is called as the root of the polynomial equation. So for what values, so for what values of x is fx equals 0? Okay, so we need to find this thing. So if let's say if no let's say when x equals alpha f x f of alpha equals zero so at x equals alpha when you put alpha in this expression of fx like f alpha becomes turns out to be zero it vanishes so that means alpha is a root that is alpha is a root or you can say solution of the equation fx equals 0. Alpha becomes a solution. Okay. And one more thing. If you have a degree equation of degree n, then you, you will have n roots. Okay. n degree will always have n roots. So if you have a quadratic quadratic equation you will have two roots right if you have a polynomial equation of three dig third the degree three you will have three roots okay so now having said that having built that concept let's come to uh, remainder theorem okay so number six is remainder theorem So remainder theorem is, let's say if fx, if this polynomial fx is divided by x minus alpha, x minus alpha, let's say if fx is divided by x minus alpha, then remainder should be f of alpha. See, if fx is divided by x minus alpha, then the remainder should be f of alpha. Okay. So, so you, you see, it is very clear. Let's say if x minus alpha is a factor of fx only, then what should be the remainder? If, f, if x minus alpha is a factor of fx, then the remainder should be 0, right? So, this is coming from common sense, right? If if x minus alpha is a factor of fx, then fx when divided by x minus alpha, the remainder should be 0, right? If it's a factor. So I just wrote, the, this is not a theorem, I just wrote this from common sense, okay? This is just common sense, that there is a reason I wrote it. Because now I want to discuss factor theorem. You see, from remainder theorem, it is saying, when f of x minus alpha is, is, is divided, uh, so when fx is divided by x minus alpha, the remainder should be f of alpha. So here, you see, from remainder theorem, you can say when x minus alpha is divided, when fx is divided by x minus alpha, you get the remainder as f of alpha. But if x minus alpha is a factor of fx, then the remainder is 0, right? So f of alpha should be 0, right? So this is coming, so this is called as factor theorem. So what is factor theorem? Factor theorem is, is like when x minus alpha is a factor of fx, 
then f of alpha equals 0 this is factor theorem hope this is clear to you guys so let's discuss what we have discussed so far let's see what we have discussed so far we have discussed what is a polynomial expression what is degree we have seen how to do division okay we have seen how to factorize a quadratic expression we have seen uh, okay this thing we haven't seen yet how to factorize a cubic expression we will see it okay we will see it we now know factor theorem we now know uh, remainder theorem so this is a very piece of cake we, we have kept some problems like this in our problem set we will see it there only and we now know what is root of a polynomial equation root should be such that where f of alpha should be equal zero okay and then we did what is remainder theorem and factor theorem okay so yeah so now we will start the problems the first problem is to factorize a cubic expression so first you try the problem on your own see if you can solve it okay and then please see the solution okay please pause the video and try it on your own first okay so let's see let's start the solution to number one so it's saying let us assume for first let us assume fx equals this expression so let let us take it under fx this ex, entire expression minus 13x plus 6 okay so this entire expression is under fx and it is saying use the remainder theorem to factorize this entire expression 2x cube plus x square minus 13x plus 6 so you see first when we have a cubic expression the first factor you need to find on your own how you will find it first see on your mind there is a rough space right you have a rough space like this in your exam sheet so first see if you put x equals 1 what will be the value of f of 1 it will be 2 times 1 cube plus 1 square minus 13 times 1 plus 6 so this is around 2 plus 1 3 plus 6 is like 9 minus 13 so not equal to 0 right so this is not equal to 0 the first factor you need to find out from a cubic expression so now let's say you take x equals 2 okay so when x equals 2 what is what will you get you will get 2 times 2 cube plus 2 square minus 13 times 2 plus 6 so this is giving you as 8 times 2 is 16 plus 4 minus 26 plus 6 so this is 20 plus 6 26 this is giving you a 0 so now you know x minus 2 at x minus 2 this entire expression will vanish will be equal to 0 okay so now f of 2 now putting f of 2 you see 2 of 2 cube plus 2 square minus 13 times 2 plus 6 this comes out to be 0 so from factor theorem or from remainder theorem you know so right from remainder theorem now or whatever what from factor theorem anything is fine because from remainder theorem it said x minus 2 when divided by when when this expression when divided by x minus 2 now the remainder should be 0 this is remainder theorem and if the remainder is 0 that means x minus 2 is a factor of fx right so from remainder theorem or i would say from factor theorem it is the same thing okay from factor theorem we conclude x minus 2 is a factor of fx so now you know x minus 2 is a factor of fx okay so then you have to do this proper division x minus 2 it should be the divisor this is a dividend so do the proper division so what should be x when multiplied with what it to give 2x cube we need to multiply 2x square with x so we will get 2x cube 
minus 2 sorry minus 2 times 2 is 4 minus 4x square let me use this eraser a bit okay yeah so 2x square then minus 2 when multiplied with 2x square we get as 4x square so we have to subtract it this is minus this is plus this will get cancelled this will get us 5x square minus 13x now we have to multiply 5x with x minus 2 so 5x we are multiplying we get 5x square here we get as 10x here we have to subtract it so from here we get as 3x okay 3x and then again this 6 comes down we get as 6 so now if we multiply with x minus 2 plus 3 we get it as 3x minus 6 sorry so this one should be minus yeah. this should be minus here so we have to multiply minus 3 here right it should be minus right minus 13 and plus 10x so minus 3 so when we multiply it with my x minus 2 with minus 3 we get as minus 3 and we get as plus 6 and this gives us remainder 0 so we get a remainder 0 from here and this is the quotient okay so basically this is the another factor of 2x cube plus x square minus 13x plus c plus 6 so now we got 2x square plus 5x plus 3 or plus 3 or minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 now basically let's factorize this to to two linear terms right then how will you factorize 2x square you just write 2x square plus you just write plus instead of 5 put a bracket there is x minus 3 minus 3 so in coefficient what is the sign before x square plus sign before this constant minus so plus and minus gives us minus we will put it minus here what is the here it's 3 the number here is 2 so 3 times 2 is 6 okay and you see 6 can be written as 6 times 1 and 6 minus 1 will give us this 5 so we can write 6 minus 1 here okay so this will give us 2x square plus 6x minus x minus 3 this will give us when 2x is common we can get x plus 3 minus 1 x plus 3 and from here we get 2x minus 1 times x plus 3 okay now therefore fx which is what is the number exactly 2x cube plus x square minus 13x plus 6 what is a final factor factor form so these two are all two are factors okay and there is one more factor that we got in the beginning only which is which is x minus 2 so when you want to factorize this entire expression you will get these are the fact these are you can write it like this x minus 2 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 3 okay so this is the answer so let's solve one more problem but before that let me add one more sheet so let's see what's the next problem is so next problem is similar 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 okay so number 2 okay number 2 again fx it is given as 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6. 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6. So similarly, in this case, if you see when you put f of 2, you will get it as 3 times 2 cube plus 2 times 2 square minus 19 times 2 plus 6. This gives us 8 times 3 is 24 plus 8 minus 38 plus 6 so this is 38 minus 38 you get it as 0 so 
so basically you will try with one first then minus one maybe two then minus two like this you will try and see in the rough space try with x equals one x equals minus one x equals two x equals minus two x equals three x equals minus three by this time you will get something as a factor okay if not try x equals four also okay but basically this first factor you have to see from trial and error method this is called trial and error so this is what we are exactly doing right now to get the first factor if of a cubic expression so now you see now we say x minus 2 from factor theorem from factor theorem x minus 2 is a factor of fx right then you have to do that division proper division x minus 2 is a divisor and 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 as a dividend <clears throat> so then what will be what when multiplied with x gives 3x cube <coughs> it should be 3x square when multiplied with this x will give us 3x cube right so you get here 3x cube and we have to now multiply 3x square with this entire device or x minus 2 so we will get here as minus 6 x square now like like normal division just subtract it you will, you will this 2 will get cancelled it will come as 8 x square this 19 x comes down as minus 19 x now you have to multiply 8 with x minus 2 to 8 x basically with x minus 2 to get 8 x square here and the next term will be minus 16x now subtract it this 2 will get cancelled here you get minus 3x now this plus 6 comes down you get plus 6 here okay now again where what will be multiplied with x minus 2 will give us with x basically will give us minus 3x it should be minus 3 when multiplied with x it gives us minus 3x and the other term is plus 6 so now this one will give us remainder 0 all gets cancelled right so now this is the quotient so this is another factor of fx so let's let's factorize even this 3x because they ask you to properly factorize so all so this cubic term this cubic expression should be fact three factors okay uh, product of three factors basically so now 3x square plus 8x minus 3 So this is 3x square plus 8x minus 3. So again, similarly, you see, we can do, we can write this as 3x square, same, plus, we can write plus, instead of 8, we put a bracket here, instead of x, we just write x, minus 3, we just write minus 3. So what, uh, what operator should we put here in the middle? If this is plus this is minus plus and minus is minus so we should put a minus here and what are the uh, what what is this coefficient 3 what is this constant 3 so 3 times 3 is 9 okay so 9 means 9 can be written as 9 times 1 okay and 9 minus 1 gives us this 8 so basically we can write this as 9 minus 1 so this from here we can get 3x square plus 9x minus x minus 3 equals 3x x plus 3 minus 1 x plus 3 this gives us x plus 3 times 3x minus 1 so therefore fx which was 3x cube plus 2x square minus 19x plus 6 So two of the factors you found it here only x plus 3 and 3x minus 1. What was the other factor which you got in the beginning only x minus 2 is a factor of fx. So you have to put x minus 2 here. So this is you have completely factorized this entire expression fx. 
okay so these three are the term the factor terms x minus 2 x plus 3 and 3x minus 1 okay hope this is clear to you guys so we will move on now so please try this problem on your own first and then please see how to solve it so what number should be subtracted from 2x cube minus 5x square plus 5x so that the resulting polynomial has 2x minus 3 as a factor okay so if 2x minus 3 uh, is a factor implies 2 times x minus 3 by 2 are also factors of so before also write fx equals this thing 2x cube minus 5x square plus 5x just assume it in the top first line let fx equals this because then you can just write of fx it implies these are also factors of fx <laughs> since since x minus 3 by 2 is a factor of fx right so this is a factor of fx right therefore from factor theorem so just one thing it's saying what number should be subtracted from 2x cube minus 5x square plus 5x so that the resulting polynomial has 2x minus 3 as a factor so basically you have to subtract minus alpha from fx here right i hope you already guys got it it was just a minor mistake so you have to subtract alpha from the given expression 2x cube minus 5x square plus 5x that that assume that as fx right it's because it is said 2x minus 3 is a factor of fx right where you subtracted alpha also so now x minus 3 by 2 are also factors so x minus 3 by 2 is a factor of fx so from factor theorem f of 3 by 2 should be equals 0 now now what you have to do 3 by 2 you have to put it in this expression so 2 instead of x just put 3 by 2 3 by 2 cube minus 5 3 by 2 square plus 5 times 3 by 2 minus alpha equals 0 so this gives us 2 times 27 times 8 minus 5 times 9 divided by 4 plus 15 divided by 2 minus alpha equals 0 so this is like 2 and 8 gets cancelled this is 4 here okay and when you multiply 2 here this remainder this denominator will be 4 you see all the denominators are 4 now so it will be an easy calculation that's why i just did that so now you can do 27 minus 5 times 9 is minus 45 plus 30 divided by 4 this is equals alpha this means alpha equals 30 and 27 what is it 57 right and 57 when you subtract 45 from it you get 12 so it will be 12 divided by 4 that means equals 3 so this is your answer just write a proper answer at the end answer hence you have to subtract 3 from the expression given expression 2x cube minus 5x square plus 5x so that the resulting polynomial has 2x minus 3 as a factor hope this is clear to you guys now we will move to the next problem <clears throat> so find the value of the constants a and b if please try this okay first so find the value of the constants a and b if x minus 2 and x plus 3 are both factors of the expression given expression okay so x minus 2 and x plus 3 are both factors of the expression this so let fx equals let us assume fx equals x cube plus ax square plus bx minus 12 so this is fx so let us assume just write it properly okay in your exam let us assume fx equals this now since x minus 2 and x plus 3 are factors of it so first do it step by step since x minus 2 is a factor of fx 
then from factor theorem what we know then from factor theorem we know f of 2 equals 0 right factor theorem and remainder theorem what it says when x minus alpha when you divide the fx with x minus alpha the remainder is f of alpha right and if x minus alpha is a factor of that expression that expression x minus fx then the remainder should be f of alpha is fine but the remainder should be zero also right that is factor theorem so here this is a remainder but it, since it's a x minus 2 is a factor so the remainder should be zero so that means it should be properly get divided that is the meaning of factor right hope you know the meaning of factor right so now we have to put 2 in this expression so this is 2 cube plus a times 2 square plus b times 2 minus 12 equals 0 so from here we get it as 8 plus 4a plus 2b minus 12 equals 0 so you see you can do it like uh, okay let's take first do like this 4a plus 2b equals 12 goes to the other side 8 goes to the other side so 12 minus 8 is 4 and now you divide both sides by 2 so you get 2a plus b equals 2 so put this as equation 1 so similarly you see they have said x plus 3 is also a factor of this expression x cube plus a x square plus b x minus 12 right so similarly that means f of minus 3 is also 0 right similarly since x plus 3 is also a factor of fx therefore f of minus 3 should also be equal to 0 hope this is clear to you right and this is x cube so this is minus 3 cube plus a times minus 3 square plus b times minus 3 minus 12 equals 0 so from here you get what this is minus 27 this is plus 9a this is minus 3b minus 12 equals 0 so all the sides it can be divided by 3 so this is minus 3 minus 9 plus 3a minus b minus 4 equals 0 so basically you get this as 3a minus b equals 9 plus 4 that is 13 so this is equation 2 so equation 1 is 2a plus b equals 2 and this is 3a minus b so from 1 plus 2 you can just do 1 plus 2 right when you do 1 plus 2 b and b gets cancelled right so now you have 2a and 3a that is 5a and the other side of the equation you have 2 and mine and 13 so 2 plus 13 is 15 so from here you get a is as 3 and when plugging when you plug a equals 3 let's say in 2 what you will get 3 times 3 minus b equals 13 so you can find the value of b from here that is 9 minus 13 which is minus 4 so the answer will be answer will be here a should be 3 b should be minus 4 hope this is clear to you guys see first x minus 2 is a factor so you did f of 2 from factor theorem equals 0 then they have said x plus 3 is a factor x plus 3 is a factor means you can write it as x minus of minus 3 right that is how you can write is right so f of x minus alpha is a factor of let's say if x minus alpha is a factor of this expression fx then the remainder should be f of alpha right when here alpha is minus 3 and since this is x minus of minus is a factor so f of minus 3 is equal to 0 so this is what we did here hope you understood it still i just said one more time f of minus 3 equals 0 okay so from here you found what is a and what is b now let's move to the next problem so x minus 2 is a factor of the expression something expression is given when this expression is divided by x minus 3 it leaves the remainder 3 okay so now this is a completely remainder problem 
So okay, no, this is a factor problem. First, x minus two is a factor of the expression, and x minus three when divided when when x uh, f x is divided by x minus three, then it, the remainder is three, right? So let us assume f x as x cube plus a x square plus b x plus six. This is f x. So now it said you say x minus two is a factor of the expression. Since x minus two is a factor of f x, what can you do? Since f x is a factor of f x, from factor theorem you find f of two equals zero. So this is from factor theorem. Right. So here you get f of two equals zero. Now you have to plug in two into this expression, which you, when you do, what you get is two cube plus a times two square plus b times two plus six equals zero. So from here you get it as eight plus four a plus two b plus six equals zero. So from here you get it as 4a plus 2b equals minus 14. From here you get it as 2a plus b equals minus 7. So this is equation your one. And the other equation is when x minus 3, when this expression f x is divided by x minus 3, it leaves remainder minus remainder 3. So it's given basically when f of 3 when you do the remainder is 3. Is directly given. So now you have to put three into this expression, which is a x cube plus a x square plus b x plus c, right? And also this is by remainder theorem. You know, remainder theorem said it, right? So this is by remainder theorem. So when x minus alpha, when f x is divided by x minus alpha, the remainder should be f of alpha, basically. And they have said f of alpha is three here. So now, when you do it, it comes as three cube plus a times three square plus b times three plus six equals zero. B times a times n plus six. So after that, you have to just do the calculation. It is twenty-seven plus nine a plus three b plus six equals zero. That is like it's all divided by three. So nine plus three a Plus b plus two equals zero. This means three a plus b equals minus eleven. So I see I did a mistake here, a silly mistake. This is three, right? I just wrote it three, but I just wrote here as zero. So remainder they have given it as three, right? So now when this all gets divided by three, this should be one, and this should be then minus ten, and then this is equation two. So you have equation one as two a plus b equals minus seven, and this is equation two. So you can simply do one minus two. So one minus two is two a minus three a, that is minus a, and the other side is minus seven plus ten, that is three. So this means a equals minus three. And when you put a equals minus three in, let's say two only, so you get three times minus three. Plus b equals minus ten. That means minus nine plus b equals minus ten. From here you get it as minus ten plus nine. That is one minus one. So one answer is a equals minus three. The other one is b equals minus one. I hope they are asked you this. Find the values of a and b. They they wanted you. So just write an answer at the end. Answer at the end. A equals uh, minus three and B equals minus one. Okay, so I hope this is clear. First, we used factor theorem here, and here we used random th remainder theorem. So both the theorems we used to get two equations, and from there we found the values of A and B. So let's do the last problem today. Okay, uh, of factorization. So please try it on your own first, and then we will see how to do the problem. Okay. So here they given f x. They give us something a x square plus b x plus two equals oh something f x. G x they have given b x square plus a x plus one. Now if x minus two is a factor of f x, 
So if x, sorry, if x minus 2 is a factor of f x, that means f of 2 equals 0. But leaves the remainder minus 15 when it divides, like that is when x minus 2 it divides g x. So basically g of 2 is equal to minus 15. So from there you can find a and b which are used in this expression f x and g x. Hope it's clear to you. Let's say, uh, let me just do it also. If f x they have given us a x square plus b x plus 2. This is they have given this. And x minus 2 is a factor of fx. So f of 2 should be 0 from factor theorem. Right? Since x, um, this is just for your understanding. Since x minus 2 is a factor, right? This is a fact, factor of fx, right? This is a factor of fx. So f of 2 that is a remainder should be f of 2 but it should be 0 from factor theorem right so f of 2 equals 0 means a times 2 square plus b times 2 plus 2 equals 0 this gives us 4a plus 2b plus 2 equals 0 <laughs> this gives us 2a plus b plus 1 equals 0 or maybe just write it like 2a plus b equals minus 1. Okay, this is equation 1. The other equation it is like from remainder theorem. When when gx is divided by x minus 2, we get a remainder minus 15. So we have to use this fact that they have given us. So g of 2 g of 2 should be minus 15 right this is the from the remainder theorem from remainder theorem so g of 2 equals minus 15 is what is that b of 2 square plus a of 2 plus 1 equals minus 15 right so this is 4b plus 2a equals minus 16. From there, if you divide it by 2, 2b plus a equals minus 8. So basically, this should be equation 2. So if you see, if you multiply this equation by 2, you will get it as 4b plus 2a which is this one basically equals minus 16 right so basically you see this is 2a and 2a so if you do let's say you i mean it's same thing i mean this basically let's say we have said this is 2 right so this 2 times 2 minus 1 what will be do what what will be it? So 2 times 2 is this expression which is 2a and we are subtracting 1 from it. So it is 4b minus b which is 3b and minus 16 plus 1 which is minus 15. So from here b will be minus 5. And when you put b equal to minus 5 to let's say here we will get 2a minus 5 equals minus 1. This means a equals 5 minus 1 is 4 divided by 2 is 2 so a and b we got a equals 2 and b equals minus 5 right so now we have to factorize this entire expression fx plus gx plus 4x square plus 7x so let's do this thing so basically it's saying we have to factorize fx plus gx plus 4x square plus 7x So what is fx? fx was ax square plus bx plus 2. What was gx? gx was bx square plus ax plus 1. And then we write 4x square plus 7x. And a we got as 2 and b we got as minus 5. So we can write 2x square minus 5x, substituting a and b value, right? Plus 2, 
plus the value of b again is minus 5 x square value of a is 2 so 2x plus 1 plus 4x square plus 7x so let's first arrange the terms what are x square terms it's 2 is there minus 5 is there and 4 is there so 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 1 minus 5 is 1 so we will just get 1 x square let's arrange of x terms minus 5 is there 2 is there and 7 is there so basically 7 plus 2 is 9 minus 5 is 4 so we get as 4x let's arrange the constant terms 2 is there 1 is there that's it so we write this plus 3 so this thing we can now because they have asked factorize the expression so we can factorize this quadratic it's a simple factorization we just write whatever x square you just write x square plus is there write the operator plus instead of 4 put a bracket x give x plus 3 plus 3 so here the sign is plus the sign is plus in front of the constant so plus and plus is plus right multiplication rule so we will put plus operator here and here we have 3 here we have 1 here so 3 times 1 is 3 so we need to make some factors of 3 such that into x and y such that x plus y should be equals to 4 so now we know 3 can be written as 3 times 1 right so now if 3 times 1 and then we also know 3 plus 1 gives us 4 right which is this 4 so we have to write 3 plus 1 then is equals to x square plus 3x plus x plus 3 which gives us x times x plus 3 we take x common right this is the only common factor between x square and 3x so we take x common and then the other factor will be x plus 3 right x when multiplied by x gives us x square x when multiplied by 3 gives us 3x and between x and 3 what is the common factor we have 1 so it should be x plus 3 that is fine so from here x plus 3 is a common factor so we take x plus 3 as common and then this becomes x and this becomes plus 1 so this is your final answer when you factorize the expression okay and also these are also your answers find value of a and b so just when you write the answer also write for what a was this much a was how much 2 b was minus 5 and then whatever the factors was x plus 3 times x plus 1 so I think that was it for today. Uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the session. Uh, your revision for ICS is going great. That is our wish. We hope we are making those videos for that purpose only. So yeah, if you are until so far, please like and subscribe our channel. I hope you will be a great addition to this Math Stormers team. Please stay connected. Hope you like it and please let us know what programs you want what uh, chapters you want us to do next where you have any doubt or anything like that please uh, please let us know that also okay hope you have a great rest of the day thank you so much please like and subscribe our channel every time i say this yeah okay thank you bye